Why are politics in the US so whack? Is the question we are answering today. Well, politics in general are just fucking whack. I had to use profanity to emphasize my hatred. For hundreds of years since the earliest governments were established, there was always a person in opposition regardless of how logical an idea may be. You may think you are living at a time where everything is changing, which is just not true. This deception is because you are living in that moment to feel and think that the news is unraveling every single day. We ourselves will never experience or feel the past as has been written in the history books. And that is the deception. I can go over world politics, but the chances are you are living in the United States where YouTube is most commonly used. So I'm going to be sticking with US politics. Now this video might be a little hard to follow, so feel free to pause it, rewind, do whatever you need to to make the connections that I'm making. There are so many reasons why politics in the United States are so whack, so I'll start with the basic two-party system. But the muncher. What about the Libertarian Party? The Libertarian Party is slowly gaining popularity, but the only downside is that the Libertarian Party has such little influence over the general elections that we are not going to be considering it in this moment. Both parties and politicians will refuse to even take the same take just because it will impact re-election and future approval rates. Since World War II and the Cold War, the parties have been going towards more extreme ideas and the beef just keeps growing and the hatred within the parties is not going to stop anytime soon. The Republicans hate the Democrats and the Democrats hate the Republicans, so what are we going to do about this? A major part of the way why politicians are the way they are is because of the freedom of press within the First Amendment. And the major problem is the media has the most power and influence over people within the United States just because that everybody watches the news. If the media does not like something that a politician has stated, more likely than not, they will try to cancel that politician with publishing an article and their poll numbers just drop. Essentially, politicians just have to shut the fuck up, otherwise the media will destroy them and possibly their career with poll numbers. The influence that the US media has over politicians has created even stricter and stricter ideologies going far left and far right. Now, what's even more weird is how people think socially. Politics essentially is not really logic based, but is more based off your feelings. So if you manipulate the right person's feelings, you will get their support. Let me give you an example using the 2020 COVID situation. It doesn't make any sense why a liberal or Democrats say my body, my rules, but then when Republicans don't want to take the vaccine, they pretty much try to force it on them. And it also doesn't make any sense that conservative Republicans want the option to take the vaccine at their own will, but then they declare that abortion should be illegal because it's a moral decision. Both sides can't agree to disagree or else they're just going to keep losing political influence. This is the bare minimum reasons why US politics are so fucked up. I have barely dug into the ground. I haven't even been over the black budget spending, the Nixon administration, the CIA, and the 9-11 controlled politics. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.